The Southern Common Market, or Mercado Comun del Sur, is a political and economic group mostly made up of Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. Later, many South American nations, including Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Guyana, and Suriname, joined as associate members. They have Spanish, Portuguese, and Guarani as their three official languages. The majority of material and meetings are, however, provided in Spanish and Portuguese. The group's origins can be identified in 1988 when Brazil and Argentina signed a Triati promising economic cooperation, even though they first held a parliament in 2004. They even discussed creating a common currency, which they would have called the gaucho. But the idea was essentially dropped after neither country bothered to develop it further. The agreement formerly known as Mercosur was signed in Asuncion in 1991 with the intention of establishing a common market among the participating nations. The Triati of Asuncion became an officially recognized association in 1994 after the Triati of Oro Preto was signed. The four countries agreed to eliminate customs duties, impose a 35% common external tariff on certain imports, and implement a common trade policy toward other countries and blocs. Mercosur has signed trade and economic cooperation agreements with a number of countries and with the Andean community. It also signed a preferential trade agreement with India in 2004. Negotiations with Canada and South Korea are still ongoing, while most of its recent free trade agreement with Egypt took effect in 2017. The largest deal Mercosur has entered is with the European Union, which benefits both parties by creating opportunities for growth, jobs, and long-term development on both sides. Argentina and Brazil's relationship, which have been characterized by antagonism, have made up after the formation of Mercosur. Political and economic instability have been seen in the Mercosur countries in recent years. Falling commodity prices, which were criticized as evidence of economic incompetence, have also contributed to recessions in the region. The COVID-19 pandemic has worsened the situation for the bloc and made it more challenging for Mercosur nations to implement a coordinated response.